There's a scripture that says, hope deferred, make it the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Um, what that kind of means is you just come alive uh, when you get your hope back, when things are good, um, when you can see beyond the right now. And I strongly urge you to do that. Um, there's also a saying that says, to have friends, one must be friendly. When you get those friends, don't be afraid to accept them. Don't be afraid to let them love you. Don't be afraid to let them in your life. They're going to want to spend time around you. That's what friends do. So, let them in. Let them. Let them. Um, there's a big movement right now. Let them. Let them walk away. Let them do this. Let them do that. But you also need to know that you need to let them love you. Let people in. Um, let yourself do things. Um, being a loner only goes so far. And believe me, I'm one of the biggest ones there is. It was just exhausting to think about making plans. Um, or I'd make plans and then I didn't really want to do it. I, you know, I'm a big stay at home, but then I want to, I don't want to be at home. I want to go do something. But there comes a time when you kind of get tired of doing it alone and you got all these people asking, why not? Why not go? Why not invite them over? Do whatever. Live. Live life. The Bible says we're supposed to live it to the fullest. I mean, Jesus has come to give us life and life more abundantly. That doesn't just start in heaven. That means be happy now, be joyful now, uh, be with like-minded believers, and even people that the gospel might rub off on. That's okay too. Uh, we're supposed to live, yes, come out from amongst them. Don't go doing sinful things. But y'all, there's not enough kindness in the world. There's not enough love in the world. Let's share that. All right.